morning Aries family welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video today we are going to do like a you versus them style love reading where we're just going to take a look at your energy and the energy of your person the one that you're currently connecting to and dealing with in love Remember, as always, this is a general love reading and if it resonates with you right now, feel free to show some love towards the channel. Roles always can be reversed in these readings. If you feel that your messages are not here, please check out your other placements or alternatively, Aries, you can always just tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign. I've kind of had to just place the microphone a little bit lower today, so apologies if... You cannot hear my voice as clear, uh, but that's the reason why. So Aries, I hope you're well. Um, we're going to open up by looking at your energy first. I'm just going to shuffle over a little bit. So let's begin. Spirit, angels and guides, please show us the energy of Aries when it comes to the person that they are connecting to in love. What's Aries energy towards this person? Okay, we have the Strength card, the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords. Oh, okay, the Devil, the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Okay, you may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Capricorn with the Devil, or you may be dealing with a Leo. Hmm. Okay. Something tells me here with the strength card and the ace of swords, I kind of really do see here that you're really holding back from speaking to this person. It's like you're using all of your strength and all of your will to not speak to somebody. And when I look at the King of Swords, Aries, it's kind of like you're saying, I'm smart enough to know, Rosa, that it's best that I don't speak to this person. And the reason being is because with the devil, this person um, may be toxic for you or you may be recognizing that this is not a good person or you there's something about this person that you know you shouldn't be interacting with like the devil is an energy of someone who is like negative um it's, it's not a positive energy okay you may be observing or noticing um negative patterns toxic cycles red flags and you're just at a point here with the ace of swords you've made this decision with this individual to hold back yeah and i'm looking at this nine of wands as well and you're kind of looking at this person and i feel like you're at this point where you're kind of like mad or you're kind of angry or you're feeling very resentful towards them because the nine of wands shows me that you've gotten to this point where you've maybe really tried with them but they keep repeating with the devil they keep repeating the same mistakes or the, the same patterns and i feel like now within the nine of wands you're just at this point where you've got your wall up now you've got your wall up the nine of cups is sitting underneath the king of swords which i just feel like you're at this you're in this space or you're at this place, Aries, where you're just focusing on what makes you happy. It's not even about this individual anymore. It's about what makes you happy, what lights you up, what fulfills you. And right now, making this decision to withdraw yourself and to stop talking to this person um, you're happy. You're, you're happy with this decision to not talk to this person. Okay. I feel like you're at this place where you're very contented. 
okay you you've transformed through something um, you've evolved I'm getting that with the king of swords like you you've got the smarts you've wised up mm. and I don't feel like you're bending for this person anymore okay do I need to clarify um, what do I want to clarify here I just want to clarify these nine of wands let's take a look at the nine of wands tell me more about the nine of wands the high priestess the high priestess hmm. yes yeah, so the high priestess is intuition okay and your intuition is telling you that it's time to keep your distance because nothing is going to change with this person because you're you're looking at the devil you're looking at this person and you're you're noticing the red flags you're noticing the the signs and the patterns and nothing has improved nothing has changed your intuition or your higher self is guiding you to uh, keep this person far away or keep this person at arm's length your intuition is telling you to keep a very strong boundary between you and this person your intuition is telling you to cut off contact or to stop talking to them to hold back can we clarify the devil The magician okay so maybe this person is very very manipulative especially when the magician is clarifying the devil so you may feel like you're dealing with someone who tells you one thing and does another okay says one thing and does another is not integral to their word okay or falls back on their word that's what i'm getting with the magician and the devil that's that to me is someone who is uh, manipulative deceptive maybe with a magician this person has told you in the past that they're going to change or they're going to improve or they're going to do this or they're going to do that but with the devil nothing changes okay um, that's what I'm getting very strongly Aries okay so I'm going to look, look at your person's energy and see what comes through But I'm also seeing the magician with the devil as you um, overcoming, overcoming your, because the devil is an unhealthy attachment and you have maybe had an unhealthy attachment to this person and I see you um, detaching successfully from this person. All right, let's take a look at this person's energy uh, towards you. Okay, spirit angels and guides, what is um, Aries person's energy towards Aries this week? What is their energy towards Aries? The Queen of Cups, ooh, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Swords, ooh, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Judgment. Well, I can tell you right now that 
your person has definitely been triggered. Okay, that's the word that's coming to my mind straight away when I see the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay, they've definitely been triggered um, by, the, by the decision that you have made to withdraw and not speak to them. And you can see it here, right? Look, the Queen of Cups is ignoring the Knight of Wands. The Queen of Cups has her back turned to the Knight of Wands. She the Queen of uh, Cups is you, and I feel like you've come through quite a lot in my readings uh, lately, Aries, as the Queen of Cups. Okay, you know exactly what you want from your love partner, and that's what you are focused on, and you're not, you're not, um, you're not compromising on that. Okay, you're not compromising on that because the Queen of Cups, she is very plugged into her intuition. Okay, she is guided by her emotion. She is guided by her instincts. And you're not going to sacrifice that. You're not going to ignore that. You're not going to allow yourself be swept up by this person any longer. And I feel like because they're coming in as the Knight of Wands, I feel like to some degree you have allowed this person to sweep you up because naturally you're a fire sign. Okay. And this person's coming in with a lot of like passion and enthusiasm and seductive energy, charming energy. And this person is really, you know, putting that spotlight on you, making you feel like you're the priority or you're the center of attention. But you're at this point with the Queen of Cups. You're at this point, Aries, where you're now listening to how this person makes you feel at, teamed with intuition. Yeah. Does that make sense? And I see here with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, this person is really uh, coming in, trying hard or trying their best to really sweep you off your feet. Trying their best here with the Page of Wands to talk to you. Okay, that's Page of Wands to me is a card of communication. So, and the communication that is coming in from this person as a standalone card, I'm just looking at the page of wands, I'm not even looking at the surrounding cards right now. As a standalone card, I feel like the communication coming from this person is, they're, they're trying everything right now to try to get you to interact with them. So flirting, trying to be playful, this person is trying to compliment you. They're trying to be friendly. They're asking you how your day is. You know, um, mm. but all the while it it all is stemming from this three of swords, okay? They're, the action that they, they are taking towards you, everything they're doing right now is stemming from that three of swords. It is a wound, okay? You have triggered some kind of like rejection or abandonment wound within this person. The judgment card is here. This is Scorpio energy. We are in Scorpio season right now. Something is being re-earthed. 
something is coming up from the shadows from from the depths of i don't know the the darkness for this person something that this person um, it, it's a burial right the judgment is look these people are coming up from their graves so and it's sitting right next to the page of wands so it, it could be like an inner child wound you've really triggered something here something is really being re-earthed I'm going to clarify the judgment card. Tell me more about the judgment. Why is the judgment here? The two of swords. Now, the two of swords is clarifying the judgment, which would tell me, Aries, hear me, this person is unconscious. This person is unaware. This person doesn't even realize that it is a wound. Okay? They're, they're not, yeah. What can I say? It's a, it's unconscious reaction. And that is why you're looking at this person as the devil. That is why you've been telling yourself, I've had enough kind of thing. You know, it doesn't look like they're going to change because you're dealing with someone who is unconscious. They're not aware. They're not aware of their actions. They're not, they're not in this space of being able to identify what they're doing wrong um i don't even I, maybe i'm being a bit harsh there but it, let, let's just back it up a little bit if we look at the page of wands looking to the judgment card when i look at these two cards the page of wands does not have the ability to see his flaws, his mistakes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as a tarot reader, as an intuitive, I'm not feeling like this is someone who is a conscious person. Not when it's coming in with the page. And then you've got a clarifier like the Two of Swords who is blind, who doesn't want to see. Hello. I don't, I don't feel like I'm wrong on that. So... But the beauty of all of this is you're this beautiful queen of cups who is intuitive, who is plugged in. You're so conscious. You're so aware. You're, you, you so know who you're dealing with. But unfortunately for this person they don't know you anymore, okay? They don't realize that maybe you're a different person now or that you're changing or that you've changed. Hmm. All right, let's, um, I'm just going to leave them there for a second, but that's the energy that they're coming in with, Okay unconscious not awake cannot see um they cannot see what they're doing so if they cannot see what they're doing they don't know the changes they have to make let's see uh what actions they are taking towards you this week what action will this person take towards Let's see what action this person will take towards Aries this week. So I'm just going to draw three cards for this part of the reading. <laughs> Eight of Swords, the Temperance, the Nine of Pentacles. Actions. Hmm. Tell me more about this temperance. Why is the temperance here? 
Why is the temperance card here, spirit? With regards to this person's actions towards Aries. Okay. So with the temperance, it's like a healing energy. They're trying to restore balance back to the relationship with the four of wands. Because with the nine of pentacles, you're um, giving off this message, if I can put it like that, to this person that you're fine on your own. Nine of pentacles is an energy of someone that is very independent, very self-sufficient and is doing fine on their own like i don't need you i'm over here doing my doing me but this person wants to restore balance back to the connection because they're not feeling secure they're not feeling safe okay with the eight of swords um i'm just going to clarify this eight of swords tell me more Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm seeing in a way, in a way this person playing the victim because the Knight of Pentacles is a stationary energy. This is someone, and the Eight of Swords is someone who is bound and stuck but sort of also playing a bit of the victim. There's an inner story here. So this person could be coming to you saying things like, you know, please, you know, take me back or let's get back together or hear me out. I don't know why I do these things. I don't know why I continue to sabotage the relationship. Um, I'm an idiot you know just playing the victim but not but not doing anything about it just playing the victim here there's definitely like an energy of playing the martyr or being the martyr this person is identifying here that they are sabotaging the relationship so they are they are understanding that they are sabotaging the relationship, but they can't see why they're sabotaging the relationship. They know on some level it's them, but they don't know what it is. <laughs> Does that make sense? Mm. So I just see uh, a victimhood here. Okay, what's coming towards you in love? Let's have a look at that. What's coming towards Aries in love this week? I'm just going to give the cards three shuffles. What's coming towards Aries? Oh, maybe that's an extra shuffle. What's coming towards Aries in love? Let's take a look. The Hanged One, the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, Queen of Pentacles, you're in this energy with the Queen of Pentacles of, how can I put it? You're being very realistic. Okay, you're being in touch with your, with the real world, okay? You're putting um, chemistry, attraction, emotions aside and you're just getting in touch with reality. And the reality is, is you value reliability. You value someone who isn't going to continue bringing you, I don't know, con continue bringing you maybe inconsistencies, unreliabilities, difficulties, challenges.
you value someone who is committed to their word. You value someone who is going to make you feel safe, secure. And as far as you're concerned with the Hanged One and the Ten of Swords here, you can see um, with regards to this individual that it is at the end of the road is what I want to say. You're at the end of the road. Mm. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Yeah, you don't want to experience difficulties anymore. The Two of Cups is clarifying the Ten of Swords. You don't want to experience any more relationship difficulty, relationship struggle. You don't want to be lied to. You don't want to be betrayed. You don't want to be backstabbed. Whatever you've been experiencing from this person, you've just, you've been through it and you don't want to be through it anymore. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles is kind of like you saying to yourself, in a very real way, this is, this is my truth. This is this is it and I can accept this all right let's grab some advice I hope I'm making sense and also too with the queen of pentacles um, the Queen of Pentacles is also an energy of someone who is very comfortable and I feel like you're very detached now. Okay, you're very aloof. The Sun as the advice card, the Sun. I feel like the Sun is um, a message of, you know, focusing on your happiness now. Okay, once you accept that this person cannot sustain reliability, like you can, because the Queen of Pentacles, like I mentioned earlier, she values reliability. Once you accept that this person isn't someone that you can rely on, I feel like there will be a sense of freedom that comes with that, and that's the sun energy. Okay. But with the sun also comes a new beginning, comes a new day. This is about looking forwards. This is high vibrational energy. You know, and Aries, you're a, generally a positive sign looking forwards and knowing that there's a lot to look forward to. And I feel like once you can accept that maybe this relationship is over or this person isn't the best for you, I feel like there will be, I don't know, a sense of freedom and liberation that comes with this. I feel like to um, a lot of clarity, perhaps, maybe you're getting clarity this week also on what you should do moving forward because the sun can represent clarity. And when you get that clarity, when it becomes clear, then you'll, you can start moving forward. Okay, today as I do this reading, it's the new moon in Scorpio. We are currently, you know, in the dark moon. It's a time where we can really just reflect on what we want to manifest for ourselves. 
and I feel like this dark moon is really allowing you to get clear on what you want for yourself, on what needs to be released and what needs to be let go. So you can move towards your happiness. Mm -hmm. And look at that, underneath that is the Ten of Pentacles because moving towards your happiness is what's going to um, get you closer to your future goals. So there you go, Aries. Hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.